What's up everyone, it's Allison. For today's workout, we're doing a quick hit session. But before we begin, make sure to tap that subscribe button and tap the bell to stay notified with the latest fitness videos. For this workout, all you need is a light and moderate pair of dumbbells, as well as a set of mini loop bands. I'll be using the Hope Fitness Gear mini bands. And if you don't have your own, I'll put a link in my caption so you can save 20% off your next purchase. For this workout, we'll be working three blocks containing three exercises each. The first round will be 45 seconds on and a 20 second rest in between. The second round will be 30 seconds on and 15 second rest. So grab your equipment and some water and let's get started. Let's begin with a quick warm up. Start with those feet shoulder width apart, hands in the quads. Give me a nice little flat back down. Tummy tight, round the spine to stand. One shoulder roll back, do it again. Inhale down, exhale round up. You have two more of those. For today's workout, we're doing a full body hit session using weights and bands. So for the weights, I'm using light and moderate, and for the bands, about a moderate to heavy. All right, keeping those toes wide, nice and easy, tap those toes out. Let's add a low arm swing with this. Reach, reach, good. Just let the airflow go through. Breathe. Whew. You've got it. In, four, three, both arms, chest press, out and in. Good, dropping those hips down, making sure those heels are down as well. Now step touch those feet. Let's keep the same arms. Work with whatever ever space you have to move in. Same legs, reach the arms overhead, reach and pull. Driving the elbows down to the sides for eight, seven, six. Here's four, three, back to a chest press. Beautiful. Now give me some hamstrings. Step and curl, step and curl. Now all we're doing for the hams is bringing those heels up to the glutes. Dropping those hips down about a quarter squat in between. You've got it, eight, seven, six. Okay, small change with this. Let's double it for two. Two on the right, two on the left. Do it again. Double up, you have four more doubles. Four, three, here's two, and single outer thighs. Now, squat outer, or more again like a quarter squat. Option, you can add some arms, push off with the heels. Good job. Eight, seven, six. Now in four opposite outer thighs, inner thigh reach. I pull down, reach towards the heel. Now, if you can't touch the heel, that's okay. You can make it a shorter range of motion. Perfect. Eight, seven, six. In four, three, knee lifts up and down. Reach and pull. Think about bringing the knees all the way up to the chest, standing tall. All right, just like before with the hamstrings, let's double it for two. Two left, two right. Yes, do it again. Doubles, four more here. Woo. Four, three, in two, and march it out. Okay, a couple more things. We're gonna do an inchworm walkout, stretching up the hamstrings, warming up the core, and then come back up to stand. So bending the knees as much as you need to since we're still in warm up phase. Walk out, hold the plank for a second or two, bend the knees, walk back up, come back up to stand. We have five of those. Here we go, walk out, hold the plank, walk back, and stand. And you might even notice with each one, your hamstrings get a little bit more warmed. You might be able to straighten them a bit more, but keep a soft bend in those knees. Woo. Fantastic, two more. Walk out, hold the plank, walk back, and final one. Walk, plank, bring it back, and stand. Last thing, take those feet a little wider than the shoulder width apart, lunge side to side, add some optional big arm circles, fill in the lungs with air, in four, three, two, hold it in the center, hands on the quads, walk those feet in, like from the top, flat back down, run all the way up to stand. Two shoulder rolls back, two forward. Inhale, arms up. Exhale down, feet together on the toes, reach. And let it out. Grab a drink, grab your equipment, and I'll meet you back here. Take your mini band and loop it around your legs on the lower part of your thighs. 
Also grab your moderate or heavy pair of dumbbells. We're kicking it off with squats to overhead presses. Start with those feet shoulder width apart, toes forward. Now for this move, we're gonna have our palms facing in. Inhale, sink low. And then exhale, we're gonna rotate palms face away on top. Inhale down, exhale, press up. If the band's too much, you can always do this without the band, or if you need to lighten up the weights, do alternating arms instead. For the second exercise, let's keep the band around the legs and then grab the lighter band and use it for the upper body. All we're gonna do is take this around the wrist. We're doing some quick lunge tap backs with some shoulder presses. Now with the fingertips long, we're gonna tap back and push out. So we're working upper and lower body as well as core. Take it fast or take it a little bit slower. And for that third exercise, we're taking it back to what we did in the warm up with inchworms. For this inchworm, we're gonna walk up for an inchworm, perform one push up, walk the hands back, and then do one jumping jack on the floor. So from here, keeping the knees soft, walk out, one push up on the toes and the knees, come right back up, stand, you can either stand or do one jumping jack. Again, we're gonna walk out, tower knee push up, walk back, stand, or do a jumping jack. Take me higher, leave it all over again 
all over again. Leave it all over again, all over again. Leave it all over again. We gon' break up, then we make up. Act like we're gonna be friends. There's the fire, take me higher. to fly. With this move, it's all upper body. So let's go ahead and plant those feet. Shoulder the part, soft bend in the knees. Abs are tight, back is straight. Palms are facing in. We're doing a narrow grip front raise. Open up for the fly, bend the elbows. Exhale, bring it in, lower the arms straight down. Exhale up, good, and then lower. Now, modify this with single arms alternating every time. For the second exercise, let's do a set of monster walks. For these monster walks, we're doing a double step touch down and back. If you don't have space to do two in a row, just stay with single side to side. So dropping the hips down, all we're gonna do is go side to side. The lower you go, the more intense it is. Knees are soft, heels are down. If you don't have that space, you'll just do single side to side here. And for that third exercise, grab your light weights again. We're doing a squat out of thigh lift with a muscle bicep curl. That seems like a mouthful, right? <laughs> okay, let's start with those feet shoulder width apart. Bring those arms up like you're gonna flex your muscles. We're going to squat down, and then when we go out, bring it in and out. Arms extend, legs extend at the same time. Your upper arms are staying parallel to the ground.
ever give Cause I've been running round in circles Screaming out your name Take me to a different place Just the two of us and we can stay up all night Kissing under street lights Doing what we want to Doing what we need to do Staying up all night Everything is alright Oh, I wanna be with you Oh, I wanna be with you Let me be the someone who can hold your hand I don't even know if you can understand How you make me feel I like got you in my head onto the ground. Your first exercise is lying down glute bridges with a tricep extension. Now I went ahead and took my medium mini loop band around the legs on the lower thigh area. From here, weights are in hand, lie down. Now before you even start, separate those knees just a bit so you feel the tension in the band. Bring those arms up, palms in. We're going to get into that glute bridge position, hold it here. Now for the arms, they're doing tricep extensions or skull crushers. If you'd like to, add a slow march with those legs against the band as an option. It is a little bit of coordination, but I know you can do it. If you're not feeling it, keep the feet down or keep the hips down. For the second exercise, I went ahead and took that same band and moved it down at the ankles. We're doing a high plank hold with an alternating leg raise. From here, 
place the hands down and go into a high plank position. With the core engaged, all we're gonna do is a small movement, lift one leg up, set the toe down, lift the other leg. Your goal is to keep those shoulders and hips steady. If it's too challenging with the band, get rid of it and do the same movement without. And for the third exercise, I move the band down even more around the feet. Take one of your dumbbells and lie down. We're doing a set of bicycle crunches with a weighted rotation. Bring those legs up 90 degrees, one leg out, one leg in, making sure there's no space between your lower back and the floor. Now rotate your upper body, holding the weight to the outside of the leg, and then swing other side. And right away, it's gonna feel a little unsteady, but that's all right, focus strong, engage the core a little bit more. If you're not feeling the band, you can do a set of regular bicycle curls with the same legs.
job of completing this workout. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also check out my Instagram at AllieFitATL for more daily workouts.